In this video, we're gonna talk about ArcVis tools, which is a new set of tools and scripts designed for 3ds Max that will help you efficiently create any 3D ArcVis project by providing you with all the necessary assets you need while organized in a thoughtful manner. ArcVis tools features 13 plugins for almost every main aspect of the architectural visualization process. Without further ado, let's just get into it. We're gonna start with Quick Light Generator, which is a script that allows you to automatically create light in 3ds Max. Compatible with both Corona and V-Ray renders, it allows you to add light objects to your scene by dragging and dropping the type of light you want using its simple interface. The most important light settings are regrouped and easily accessible in the UI so that you can quickly and easily find your way to set up your lighting. You can change the state, the color, intensity, radius, etc of one or multiple selected lights at the same time. Also, you can create IED light objects and load AI's files or load SDRI images and keep having access to their settings within the same simple interface. In addition to that, you have the ability to convert any 3D object into mesh light. This one here contains everything you need to bring your roads into life. Road Making Generator features a large asset pack organized into five categories pedestrian crossing and dashed lines, car light trails, road markings, manhole covers, and traffic signs. Each one of the categories has its own set of parameters, including the road making presets that have transformation settings such as scale, rotation, mirroring, etc., and also conform settings that allows you to snap and wrap the texture plane assets onto any target 3D object surface. In addition to the car light trails category that has a lot of fun parameters to play around with. Also the trail lines are stacked into layers and follow the path of the selected spline. Furthermore, you can customize them as you wish by tweaking the colors palette, the light multiplier and the tiling settings. Now we're gonna jump to the ocean wave generator script. This plugin is pretty much self-explanatory. And this one, you guessed it, is for creating static wave effects for your ocean and beach scenes. It features three categories of wave decals, water level, splashing waves, and bow waves. The second category, splashing waves, includes a tool for automatically adding wave foam around any selected object like rocks in the middle of the water, which is an awesome time saver. And the plugin is more oriented to architectural visualization. The decals the plugin features are static and not animated, which is more than enough for static image renders. We can't really talk about ArcVis tool sets without featuring doors and windows as at libraries. That's why ArcVis tools also includes three different plugins for generating either bifold doors, sliding doors, or glass doors. Using bifold generator, you can create 13 types of folding glass doors with six handle types for each. Same with sliding door generator, when you can create up to 9 types of stacking doors with 5 handle types each, while glass door generator comes with 6 different doors with up to 8 door handles. With easy to use control panels, these plugins give full control over their asset size and animations, whether for folding, sliding or classic door animation. For the windows, ArcVis Tools has two amazing scripts. The first one is the aluminum window generator which features three different types of aluminum windows, in addition to eight casements, 15 awnings, and five sliding windows. And the other script is for generating new PVC windows. It features eight casements and eight awnings and new PVC windows ready to use. And the good thing is, these assets are already set up to be easily resized and animated. If you need to decorate your interiors with some picture frames, probably this is gonna be the right plugin for you. Picture Frame Generator contains 20 design setups of frames fully customizable and ready to display any images. Using its intuitive layout and after choosing the design you want, you can play with settings like the frame's length, width, depth, thickness or even the distance between them to finally import pictures for each of them with a single click. This plugin is a big one, and it is called Kitchen Cabinet Generator. It is a tool that contains everything you need to create professional visualization of a kitchen. 
It features numerous stone and wood materials, painting palettes, customization door cabinets, all organized into different categories, such as bench top, base and wall cabinets, cabinet handles, sinks, and more. It is now available for the centimeter system unit, but the developers are now working on the millimeter system for the next updates. What's great about the Archivist tool scripts is that they are continuously growing with free updates and each time are coming with new amazing assets and features as the team is listening to users' feedback. In the same category, we also have Dappled Light Generator, which is a script that makes it very easy to create various dappled light effects for scenes, especially those with close-up camera shots. The tool features a Create Sun on Sky button that does exactly what it says with just one click. It will automatically add a sky environment map and in the same drop down panel, you have the necessary parameters that give you control over the look, position and rotation of the sun. Now to get the desired dappled effect, you need to create a dappled light panel, either by selecting one of the 16 presets that come out of the box or by creating and loading your own custom maps and the plugin will automatically handle their transparency. In addition to that, the developers are planning to make them animated in the next versions. Next we have Backdrop Generator, which is a quick script that comes in very handy for creating realistic 2D backgrounds. It features 15 high resolution tileable background images with a set of parameters to edit their looks such as radius, height, tiling and rotation. A nice trick to know is that you can combine different layers of 2D backgrounds and enable casting shadows to give it even more depth and therefore get it to look more realistic. Finally, the last plugin on our list is gonna be Layer Manager Extension. It is a tool that will help you manage your Archivist project assets by organizing them into dedicated layers. The script comes with two layer templates, one for exterior and the other for interior design projects. It allows you to load your own layer templates and do a bunch of actions to the layer system with its simple UI, with it providing selected filters and controls for display and rendering. It will make your life so much easier, especially when your project starts to get a little bit busier. If you are interested in these scripts and plugins, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.